I've got like a hundred musky baits, but I need more. The fishing industry has control over me. I need more lures. That's why I'm here today. There's this one very specific size and color of cowgirl, spanky, juice, sneaky Pete, ghost tail, lungeon tail, booker tail, inhaler, flasher, revolution, dadson, that I have to have. Canadian tires never let me down before. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, he's got a fishing rod. He knows what's up. Look at this place. So many things. Oh, here it is. Right there. Crazy spinner. It's convenient. They got him right by the doors. That is the difference maker right there. Now I'm gonna get out onto Lake of the Woods and put this together as a musky lure. What are these things? Why are these in every gas station and of course Canadian Tire and taking over the world with absolutely no purpose until today? So this is a heavy duty bucktail wire shaft that you build the whole lure on and then you take a little tube like this and that's where you tie either your tinsel or your hair on and then you can slide it onto the shaft you'll see that right away but for now we need to tie some hair i've got my homemade vise here that looks pretty good i do have i think a couple bald spots that people have noticed from where i tried to tie some bass jigs and unsuccessfully get a video doing that so we're going to switch to something a little easier here and try to catch a muskie. When you're tying in general, it's better to use a bunch of medium sized chunks like this as opposed to trying to take like a giant glob and tie that all on at once. It's just more secure if you piece by piece kind of build. Whip finish. This is just head cement of some kind, basically glue to lock up all that thread. There's one chunk and we're going to tie two chunks. Again, get the threads started, first of all, just by crossing over your wraps a bunch of times, trimming the tag. Ooh, right there, is this noticeable? This is a dirty blonde based on how poor of a tying job this is, more so than the color of my hair or my personality. There's gonna be the bulk of this lure. By the way, I forgot to introduce you to Husky the Musky. He's like a 40 foot tall musky statue in Kenora Harbor here on Lake of the Woods. This is the north end of Lake of the Woods where our buddy Darcy Cox lives and guides out of Tank Industries Guide Service. Look him up. So this shaft wire piece that you can get online at different websites or off Amazon or whatever, it's got an open end with nothing on it and then the other end comes with a preformed loop. So I've put a giant like 10 odd treble hook on there with a split ring. And then I've got shrink tubing, which you can get at Canadian Tire and slide it over top the shaft, massage it over the hook. I'm gonna slide this bead on there just as a spacer. And the shrink tubing is also gonna go over top of that. Hi. Of course, having a little jet torch would be a lot easier than this, but this works pretty good. Everything just locks right up, nice and tight on everything. That cools right away and you can see it's sitting Stiff, this treble hook's not gonna tangle with our body materials. There goes the first body piece. And there's the second. This middle cap, we're gonna just pop off, revealing the high performance bearing that the Crazy Spinner is known for. So I'm gonna slide a bead on there, and then I'm gonna put the spinner on there, and I'm gonna put another bead on there. I'm gonna bend this wire, try and wrap it into a bit of a line tie here. How's that looking? You should always have hook cutters, trim that tag end. So as it is, this isn't gonna spin. The water's just gonna go right through those holes. So I'm gonna use this crazy Gorilla Tape, but you could use normal duct tape probably too. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close half of the same side of each hole to kind of give it torque. Right like that. And then use scissors, trim the excess. There we go. I got the back side of each one of those half taped. So the water should go in this side, get forced through the hole that way, spin the blade, puff up the hair, give the overall desired wounded bait fish appearance and attract a muskie. Let's go find one. I've got to sharpen my hooks. This is a single cut mill bastard file, which is I think for sharpening lawn equipment or something. Some people tease me for using it, but I saw Mike Lazarus using this. So 
I think it's legit. And if you're watching someone musky fish and they get a snag or they touch something and they don't check their hooks immediately, they don't know what they're doing. You need to take such good care of your hooks. Keep your file greased so it doesn't rust. Take off as little metal as you can. Sharpen it on a few different sides. And that's all you need to do. Check it with your finger to make sure it's nice and sharp. More important than your specific lure, is the hustle you put in to fish fast. Summer's over and fish are setting up on all rock extrusions where that shallow water pokes into the deep water and the fish have that access that they can go back and forth between the shallow and the deep. Here's the first spot of the day. I've never fished here before. It's just a rock sticking off the shore. By comparison, the rest of the shoreline is quite smooth and flat and boring. And we're gonna break in the dirty blonde fidget crazy spinner. Oh, I mean, it, it looks amazing. It looks absolutely amazing. Got half my head on here. Let's do it. Like with musky fishing, if it is a rock point or reef sticking out into the lake and there's muskies in that part of the lake, it will almost always be a good musky spot. And that's it. No musky, you can see I started well ahead of the rock and then worked through the rock and past the rock. And that's just part of our day. Now we move on to the next spot and it's boom, 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 boom. Hit spots like that all day. Eventually you see some muskies, eventually you catch some muskies. Another great looking spot here. Got a reef off this island. Can't be shy. Get right in there against the reef. Can't be worried about getting snagged or dulling your hooks because they're sitting right up shallow a lot of times on top of this stuff. We can always sharpen our hooks. We can always go in there and get our bait. This is a Shimano Tranks 401 HG reel. It's got a super high speed retrieve. And for summer muskies, you really can't reel it too fast. They're not gonna be outran by a lure. They will always be able to chase it down and often fired up by that super high speed retrieve. And then if you can make those blades boil under the surface if you're using a bucktail or whatever it is that I'm using here, which is just another way to sort of fire them up. Oh, there's one. There's a decent one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. He turned off, but I think he's back. See here? Yeah, that's what I gotta assume because my viz is pretty tough. This could be the one. Yeah, he's still here. He's still here. So now I gotta try some change-ups. Fast, slow. Oh, he liked that. He liked that pulsing on the surface stuff. Let's see if we can get him to do that again. Hey. Yeah, he's right with me. This is it. Got him, got him. Oh yeah! Oh man! Yeah, he's right with me. This is it. Got him! Got him! Oh yeah! Oh man! That was an exciting and long figure eight. I think he's hooked kind of funny on the outside of the face. But that pulsing right under the surface just drove him crazy. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Come on, buddy. That was awesome. Fidget, spinner, musky. Come on. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on. It's a nice fish. Come on, swim in. Got him. Fidget, spinner, musky. It's real. It's real, folks! Oh, that's awesome. Oh, now that was a fun figure eight. Look at that. That's cool. That's cool. Ready? That's a big musky. That is a big, big musky. Lean summer fish here. Yeah, the haters aren't gonna like I don't even like where I hooked them in the gill cover there, but can you get a quick measurement? Okay, jaw right against the bump board, and this muskie is just a hair under 48 inches. That is awesome. Okay, quick release, and we're on our way. Oh yeah, oh yeah, amazing. 
Amazing. That's amazing. There she goes. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Fidget crazy spinner. That's all it took. It's got to be dirty blonde, of course, to really make the big girls bark, but not ideal how she was hooked. You got a moving fish and a moving bait in close proximity, and sometimes they intersect in a not ideal way, but she was hot for it. Shows that it's not all about one specific lure at the tackle shop that you've got to spend that 30 or $40 on. There's a lot of different options and keeping your pace up throughout the day and hitting lots of spots is so much more important to muskie fishing. <laughs>